Hey guys, welcome to another Master at Rift. Today we're going to be looking at the wild side track Clock Strikes. So tuning wise I'm a half step down here. So I've got my E to an E flat, A to A flat, D strings to D flat, the G strings to G flat, got the B to B flat, and they've got that high E down to an E flat. Okay. So the song actually starts with lots of harmonics. I'm going to look at that bit. I'm going to get straight into kind of the riff. So it's kind of like a two bar riff that's got variations in it. And what we're going to start off with, something that sounds like this. Okay. So what I'm playing here is like open A string. is a little tee up. So this is kind of on um, the end of beat two and then three or four of the previous bar. So you're kind of playing... Uh, kind of uh, anticipating the main riff. So I play that open A string. Then I'm going to slide with the first finger, barring the second fret of the D and G strings. Little double stops. I'm sliding from that second fret, D and G, up to the fourth fret. Slide back to the second fret, and then pull off to the open D and G strings here. So that can be quite tricky to do slow, but you've got this, that kind of sound to it. So it's a quick slide into the four. So you're really kind of playing four, two, zero, but you're sliding into that four from the two. Yeah. And when you do the pull off, you can kind of, kind of drag the finger off the strings to get a little bit more energy into the strings. Yeah. Then what I'm going to do is basically play like an E power chord. I'm using my second and third uh, finger here. You could do it with the first finger. But I play that open E string and then second fret the A string. So I'm almost like holding an E minor shape, but I'm only hitting those two strings. Then I'm going to hit the top two strings there, the open B and E string. Then I've got a palm mute open E. Then I'm going to third fret of that E string. Then up to this little A kind of power chord. So I'm batting at the second fret that we did just before at the D and G strings there. The first finger. Then I go back to the third fret, that E string, bit of vibrato here. Yeah. And I'm going to play open E string again. Okay. But that leads into the next two bars. So slowly that sounds like this. Yeah. And as I forgot to say, I'm, I've got a low kind of gain setting here. So I've rolled the volume back in the guitar. So in the last pause, I've kind of got it between one and a half and two. Just to try and kind of clean it up a little bit so we can raise the energy up when we get into the main riff. Yeah. So that's our two bars. After we've done that, we kind of lead into the riff again, but I've now done the vibrato on the third fret E string. Open E, and then I pan you that E string twice to lead back into that again. So this kind of leads in with two pan mutes in the E string. Do everything again. Instead of going back into the G here, I go up to this like C little power chord inverted. So I'm batting at the fifth fret, the D and G strings here with the first finger, and I give that a good bit of vibrato there. Yeah. Then I'm back to open A string, and I'm kind of starting the riff again. Yeah. So I sustain in this E power chord here, and then the lead in here sounds like this. So what I'm going to be playing here is 3rd fret that A string, let it all ring, then open D string, then G string. So it's a little kind of C chord there, C add 9. Then I play 3rd fret of the E string, so I'm kind of doing a G here, then 2nd fret of the A string. But you, you can sustain in that G a little bit longer. So I do a 2nd fret of the A string, open D string, and then a D power chord. So I'm just doing 2nd fret of the G string. 3rd fret of the B string there. Yeah. That slowly with the riff sounds like this. And there you have it here. Yeah. Now we're going to be playing the riff but the whole band's in now. So what I'm going to do is crank up the volume 
on my bridge pick up there and now I'm going to play 4-2-0 double stops so I'm playing 4 on the D and G string then 2nd fret and then open D and G strings there so in other words it's our little slide pull off riff just not the slide in, you're just in 4-2-0 and basically what I'm going to do here is play the riff but with all the gain, so I've got my power chord and the variation this time is when I get up to the kind of C power chord here I've got a pinch harmonic on that 5th fret of the G string there and I'm aiming from kind of like 2 octaves in the 5th so it's that kind of pitch there, that's quite close to my bridge pick up here on the Les Ball a bit of vibrato on that yeah. In the next four bars we play the riff again. But we have this little variation where we would have played like the E sustain chord and you know the first time we did it. I'm gonna play a little E inverted power chord up here, so I'm batting or using second and third finger, ninth fret and the D and G strings here. Got a palm muted A string in between it, and then I go to this little D power chord here, so I'm batting at the seventh fret of the D and G strings with the first finger and I give it a wiggle, a bit of vibrato and this leads back into what we did before where a 3 zero, zero. then we've got our G and D power chord so those four bars slowly sound like this uh, okay. so that's the kind of main riff bit I want to look at the little lead guitar break that gets played here as well. So this is actually played over these four bars. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to slide up to kind of 15th fret on the high E string here. And what I'm going to play is 19, 15, 19. So it's kind of like the, I guess it's like the minor third and the, and the fifth of this E minor here. A bit of vibrato, let it sustain. Then I'm going to play a little group of four of 19, 15 in the high E string, 19 in the B string, back to 15 in the high E string. Yeah. You could use that with a pull off. Yeah, if you want to kind of get a smoother feel with it. Then I'm going to play 19, 15 in the B string. Yeah, so you've kind of got this little sequence. And then I'm going to play this thing that goes along the B string. So I'm going to do a pull off 19 to 15. Slide to the 12th fret here. Yeah. Once I've done that, I do a pull off 15 to 12 there. And I've got this cool little blue note there, this little flat 5. So that, that kind of part of it sounds like this. Then I'm going to play 12 fret, that B string, pull off to 11. Slide to 10, and then 12th fret of that G string there. With a bit of vibrato. So it kind of goes. And you slide it off so slow that goes like this. And accent wise, you want to kind of, um, when you put it all together, uh, so I'm accenting that. Then. Slide it off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide kind of from 10th fret to 14 in the D string. Yeah, I use a middle finger for that. I play 14 in G, then 14 back in the D again, and then 12th fret in that G string again. And then the last little bit goes 14, 12 in the D string, and then I'm going to bend a whole step up and down 15th fret of that B string there. Yeah, so that little bit kind of goes. So that whole kind of lead break sounds like this. And that's you into the verse. So that's it guys, that's the riff uh, to Clock Strikes by Wildside. I'd never heard of Wildside before, one of those bands I think just kind of fell by the way because of the whole grunge kind of changeover from the you know late 80s early 90s uh, so I want to say a big huge thanks to Travis for suggesting this for requesting this riff and for turning me on to them because they're a great band so if you've not heard them before go and check them out uh, if you want access to the animated tab for this lesson or the guitar profile 
head over to the Master Guitar Patreon, you'll get access to that. Plus you'll get access to the Helix, Helix patch I've created to this and the kind of tone tips behind it. Uh, and you'll get access to obviously uh, all of the materials I've got up there for all the previous videos that we've done, yeah. And you can subscribe or become a Patreon, a uh, Patreon for the littles, one dollar a month, yeah. So come over and check it out, guys. Uh, if you're on other platforms, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And if this is your first time here or if you've checked out some vids and you want to keep up to date with things, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so you're kept up to date with things. So have fun with it, guys. See you soon.